Hey, GAMAS students. Um, this is going to be a short video on interpreting bar graphs with multi step problems. Um, you'll see a link um, to get to this um, skill on IXL. Okay, so let me pull up a problem. Hold on, I got to copy and paste it over. Uh, there's really no set um, kind of lesson to go with on here. So we'll just do a few examples. Each problem can be slightly different, but the key to all of these is um, that there will be more than one step involved. So here it says Josh owns a music store. He made a bar graph to show the string instruments he sold last week. Okay. So this is Josh's store and it says Josh's friend Sam has a music store nearby town. Last week Sam sold two fewer guitars than Josh. He sold three more mandolins than Josh. How many more guitars the mandolin did Sam sell? So the things we got to be able to, to figure out the answer, we need to know how many guitars Sam sold and how many mandolins Sam sold. Okay. And to do that, we have to refer to what um, Josh sold. So Sam, oh, that's ugly. So we gotta look at guitars. We gotta look at, I'll abbreviate that, mandolins. So he said last week Sam sold two fewer guitars than Josh. So this is, jo this is Josh's graph, remember? It says up here, this is Josh's. So Sam sold two fewer. So Josh sold nine. So then two fewer than that is seven. He also sold three more mandolins than Josh. Mandolins sold, or uh, Josh sold two mandolins. So three more than that is five. And then it said, how many more guitars and mandolins? Now you probably can just look at it and do it, but it's. Seven minus five, so the answer would be two. Okay. So that would be how you would do that problem. Let me pull up a new problem. Um, I just got to go to my screen. Um, and again, I'll probably just do one or two more of these and be done. I just want to give you a couple examples here. Okay, so it said Kurt went bird watching with his dad last weekend. The bar graph shows types of birds they saw. Okay, it says that weekend they saw one type of bird more than any other. Okay, so that would be the crows. So it's the one they sold or saw more than any other. So we're going to be looking here. When they went bird watching this weekend, so this was the last weekend, okay. So now they went this weekend, they saw only one third as many of that type. How many birds of that type did they see? So the type we already said, the one they saw most of was crows, which was nine. And this weekend they saw one third of that. So they saw one third of nine so there's a few different ways you can think of it if some of you have been doing the fractions and stuff it would be one third times nine then if we made that nine over one which is the same as nine multiply across the top multiply across the bottom and you get three okay if you just are still not good with the fraction things. Remember, in a calculator, you uh, um, can change this to a decimal. One divided by three in your calculator is going to give you 0.3 repeating. When you type that in the calculator, leave it as, let's see, maybe even see if I can pull up the calculator here, but don't abbreviate that as 0.3. Leave it. As 
um, 0.3 repeating. So let me let's see if we can do this over here. This is a goofy calculator, but let's give it a whirl. So we're going to go one divided by three. Okay. I'm just going to leave that there. And now, again, it's one third times nine. So I'm going to take 0.333, three, leave all those threes in there. So it's 0.3 repeating. And you're going to go times nine. Well, let me pull the calculator back up. So times nine equals, and it will give you three. Now, some old calculators, I gotta find my cursor. This shouldn't be a nine. This looks kind of sloppy. Change that for you. Well, that calculator gave me exactly three. Sometimes, Old calculators might round it off and do 2.9999999999. If it just continues like that, that means round it to three. Okay. So one third of nine would be three. Okay. If you think you got it, you can stop the video now and go ahead. I'm going to do one more, I think, here. Um, and then you could always come back to this video later if you need to. If you're you're missing something, you're not understanding something. Um, but I'm going to do one more problem here. Okay, so it says Amelia collects state quarters. She made a bar graph to show how many quarters she had from each region of the US. Okay. And I haven't looked at these yet, so I need to read it right along with you. It says, Amelia's grandfather also collects state quarters. So he gave some of his collection and doubled what Amelia already had. Amelia then spent five of her quarters because she had so many re repeats. How many state quarters does she have? So this thing you have to understand here is this problem deals with the total amount of quarters that she has so what we need to do first is figure out how many she had to start out with because then he doubled it and then she spent five so right now let's go through this is 10 8 12 8 and six. Now these were all right at lines. If there was something in between, then you you know, like there was one here that would be between six and eight. So you'd count that as seven. Okay, so we add these, we get these two together is 20. And then 18 is 38. So it looks like it's 44. So let's double check that here. And this is go this way, 14, and then this is 20. So that's 34 plus 10. So it looks like 44. Then his, her grandpa doubled it. So gave either you could add 44 or multiply by two. And then she spent five. So you take away five. And that should leave with 83. And okay. so I'm not going to be able to go over every type of problem, but as you can see, they're all going to kind of involve two steps. Just be careful in in reading the problem. OK, and if there's any questions um, as you're going through, um, Either send me a chat message, I'll be online with the class, just let me know.